Hey everyone, it's John and I'm back. This is going to be my first video that I've recorded in a while. Uh, I took a break over the Thanksgiving week and I basically edited and published every single video that I had had saved on my computer over the course of about three weeks with almost a new video coming out every day. And that's why between this video and one published previous to this, there's probably a decent gap. Anyway, what we're here today to try is this. Craft Dinner Ghost Pepper Flavor Boost. This is the spiciest of all the flavor boosts that I've gotten. It has not one, not two, but three peppers on the pepper scale. Of course, the other ones I had were a butter chicken. I'm going to turn this heater off underneath me because I think it might be making some background noise that I don't want to have to edit out anyway. Anyway, three peppers for this one. There was a jalapeno one that had two peppers and there was a butter chicken one that had two or one pepper on it. And there was another one I think that was slightly spicy that I can't remember off the top of my head right now. It's already published. Go look for it. Anyway, this is what it looks like. The overall color hasn't changed, but as you can see, there are many dark red pepper flake chunks on there. And of course, much macaroni noise. I'm not sure exactly how terribly spicy this is going to be. I did taste a little bit of the spice powder that was in here before. And if you're wondering what the ingredients are, there's sugar, red bell pepper, paprika, natural flavor, soybean oil, paprika extractives, ghost pepper, tricalcium phosphate. So the second to last ingredient on here is ghost pepper. So I'm not expecting this to be something that's going to explode my face off. Um, I'm wearing these glasses for protection. Because currently I don't need to wear glasses to see. Another reason why I took a break from filming was I recently had LASIK. Um, and it took a couple days for me to not see too much blur. And also bright lights were kind of annoying and I kind of need a little bit of a bright light to record here to see everything uh, decently but also I'm going to wear these for protection here I don't want a spicy thing splashing up into my now unprotected eyeballs let's go ahead and eat I did have uh, some sparkling water hopefully help me from getting pickups and uh, if this is too hot as well here we go there's definitely a smoky paprika flavor a sweet red bell pepper flavor as well but there's a decent amount of spice in this It does have that like ghost pepper smell that I'm used to with things that have ghost pepper as an ingredient. The uh, the red flakes in here, I'm pretty sure is like dehydrated red bell pepper. That's to like really uh, see those red pepper chunks in there. But if those red pepper chunks were all ghost pepper, then this would have been insanely spicy. It is a really like really warming spice. 
Like I already feel warm sensations building up here in my belly slash chest area. Unlike the other ones, I might not eat this whole bowl just because I don't want uh, massive upsetness in the, this region. The spice is not unbearably spicy from my mouth. It's way, uh, way below a reasonable pain threshold for me. It's not really burning. It's just like really, it's really warm in my mouth. One thing that I have enjoyed since receiving LASIK surgery is the ability to just pick up any pair of sunglasses and wear them. Or safety glasses. Or 3D glasses. I'm getting a, a slow drip coming from my nose right now. Oh, another reason why I'm wearing these glasses is because, I don't know if you can see, but there's like still some redness, especially in this one right here. Um, but it's slowly going away. It's just a side effect from these basically they're like suction cups they stick to your eyeballs I don't know if you've got a suction cup stuck to your arm for any significant amount of time it'll create like a little red circle and that's just because it's drawing blood with the surface that's what happens to your eyes and the reason they put those suction cups on your eyes is to basically hold your eyeballs still while they cut the circle piece and that creates the flap that moves up Yada yada. This is not a biology lesson. Nor am I giving medical advice to anyone watching. As I sit here, I needed an entire package of macaroni and cheese. No, it's not. This is not a challenge spicy, but if you like hot food, I think that this this flavor boost is actually a, a really decent option for you. Um, it is uh, it's hot enough that like you're not just gonna chow 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 down unless like you're a professional eater trying to do something really quickly. Uh, it, it's enough spice that it kind of slows you down from continuously eating it but is it enjoyable enough that you do want to come back to it the flavor taste natural um, natural com like when it comes to powdered cheese and flavor natural I'm specifically talking in comparison to the the poutine one that I had before, which kind of had a weird gritty sensation that made it feel and taste a little bit fake, but also this one has a, a, something similar to the poutine one, where the more bites I take, the more I enjoy it. I still think overall the poutine one had the best flavor profile going for it by the end of the bowl I was like you know out of all the ones I had this is the one where 
I was like, yeah, I would, I would want more of this. I would want to have this again sometime. But this one, I th really think, if you are a fan of spicy food, this is something that you could keep on hand. Because I've never had a macaroni and cheese that was this spicy. I'm sure someone somewhere has made their own concoction that was spicier than this. But like a, a super convenient, easy, not quite instant, but quick meal. This really puts it in that category. And you can taste individually the paprika, the red bell pepper, and the spiciness from the, the ghost pepper. It's smoky. There's a little bit of sweetness. And it has like a really good a quality amount of heat that it's packing. And you know what? I am probably going to finish this bowl because it is good. But it's going to take me a while. And I don't feel like having to edit down that long of a video. So with that being said, the Kraft Dinner Ghost Pepper Flavor Boost. I'm going to have to say this is my second favorite so far. And there's only one left. And I'm saving that one for last because I think it is the most interesting. And that is pink cotton candy flavored craft dinner <laughs> also being a dessert it should go last but uh, that one will turn this whole bowl a bright pink color I've seen other people uh, do reviews of it online and I'm very interested to see once I pour it in just how neon bright pink that gets and how the flavor goes because it's going to be sweet I did say this one has like some sweet bell pepper flavor to it but when you get that chunk of bell pepper that it has in there that you kind of extract that flavor from the everything but the cotton candy one should just be f sweet throughout you would think anyway that's going to be the end of this video hope you enjoyed it for the craft dinner ghost pepper flavor boost if you like spicy foods I highly recommend you try this one. It's only available in Canada, but you can get it on eBay. Uh, get it shipped to the States if you really, really desire. Uh, but if you're in Canada, go ahead and try this. It's it's good stuff. And um, watch my other craft dinner uh, reviews. Watch the one that I will have coming up after this. And then, after my craft dinner uh, series is over, I have another series that's going to come up. It's a four-part series. Uh, it's a more interesting noodle flavors, but also something that's not noodles, but related to those same noodle flavors. And uh, it's to celebrate a 50-year anniversary of something as well. So there's a lot, a lot of things going for it. Hopefully you subscribe to this channel and uh, if you really want to click whatever thing to get notified I don't really care about that um, as long as you just watch the videos give them thumbs up and uh, get your friends to subscribe as well because you, you need to tell them that they're missing out on high quality um, not editing or video or audio quality just quality information is what I'm going to tell you. Uh, from a quality guy. That's me. John. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.